Welcome everybody, this is Alan with Daily Armor of God. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you're all doing well. This is reading the Old Testament in 88 days. We're on day 55. Today we'll be starting Psalms and we'll be reading chapters 1 through 18. And depending on time, 1 through 20. We'll see how uh, fast we get through them. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get started in Psalms 1. Verse 1. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of Yahweh, and in his law doth he meditate day and night. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. The ungodly are not so, but are like the chaff which the wind driveth away. Therefore the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For Elohim knoweth, excuse me, Yahweh knoweth, the way of the righteous, but the path of the ungodly shall perish. Okay, that was a pretty short chapter, continuing on. Psalms 2. Why do the heathen rage, and the people imagine a vain thing? The kings of the earth set themselves, and the rulers take counsel together against Yahweh and against his anointed, saying, Let us break their bands asunder, and cast away their cords from us. He that sitteth in the heavens shall laugh, the Lord shall have them in derision. Then shall he speak unto them in his wrath, and vex them in his sore displeasure. Yet have I set my king upon my holy hill of Zion. I will declare the decree Yahweh hath said unto me, Thou art my son, this day I have begotten thee. Ask of me, and I shall give it to thee, the heathen, for thine inheritance, and in the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. Thou shalt break them with a rod of iron. Thou shalt dash them in pieces, pieces like a potter's vessel. Be wise now, therefore, O ye kings, be instructed, ye judges of the earth. Serve Yahweh with fear and rejoice with trembling. Kiss the sun, lest he be angry, and ye perish from the way, when his wrath is kindled but a little. Blessed are all they that put their trust in him. Psalms 3 A Psalm of David, when he fled from Absalom his son. Yahweh, how are they increased that trouble me? Many are they that rise up against me. Many there be which say of my soul, There is no help for him in Elohim, Selah. But thou, O Yahweh, art a shield for me, my glory, and the lift up of mine head. I cried unto Yahweh with my voice, and he heard me out of his holy hill, Selah. I laid me down and slept, I wakened, for Yahweh sustained me. I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people that have set themselves against me round about. Arise, O Yahweh, save me, O my Elohim, for thou hast smitten all my enemies upon the cheekbone. Thou hast broken the teeth of the ungodly. Salvation belongeth unto Yahweh, thy blessing is upon thy people. Selah. Psalms 4 To the chief musician, on Neganoth, a psalm of David. Hear me when I call, O Elohim of my righteousness. Thou hast enlarged me when I was in distress. Have mercy upon me and hear my prayer. O ye sons of men, how long will ye turn my glory to shame? How long will ye love vanity and seek after leasing? Selah. But know that Yahweh hath set apart him that is goodly, godly for himself. Yahweh will hear when I call unto him. Stand in awe and sin not. Commune with your own heart upon your bed, and be still. Selah. Offer the sacrifices of righteousness, and put your trust in Yahweh. There be many that say, Who will show us any good? Yahweh, lift up thou light of thy countenance upon us. Thou hast put gladness in my heart more than the time that their corn and their wine increased. I will both lay me down in peace and sleep, for thou, Yahweh, only makest me dwell in safety. I like that one. Psalm 4 8. Psalm 5. To the chief musician upon Nehaloth, a psalm of David, 
Give ear to my words, O Yahweh, consider my meditation. Hearken unto the voice of my cry, my King, my God. For unto thee will I pray, my voice shalt thou hear in the morning, O Yahweh. In the morning will I direct my prayer unto thee, and will look up. Thou art not a Elohim that hath pleasure in wickedness, neither shall the evil dwell with thee. The foolish shall not stand in thy sight, thou hatest all workers of iniquity. Thou shalt destroy them that speak leasing. Yahweh will abhor the bloody and deceitful man. But as for me, I will come into thy house in the multitude of thy mercy and in the fear, but I worship toward the holy temple. Lead me, O Yahweh, in thy righteousness because of mine enemies. Make thy way straight before my face, for there is no faithfulness in their mouth. Their inward part is very wickedness. Their throat is an open sepulchre. They flatter with their tongue. Destroy thou them, O Elohim, let them fall by their own counsels. Cast them out in multitude of their transgressions, for they have rebelled against thee. But let all those that put their trust in thee rejoice. Let them ever shout for joy, because thou defendest them. Let them also that love thy name be joyful in thee. For thou, Yahweh, wilt bless the righteous. With favor wilt thou compass him as with a shield. Psalm 6 to the chief musician on Neganoth, upon Shemineth, a psalm of David. O Yahweh, rebuke me not in thine anger, neither chasten me in thy hot displeasure. Have mercy upon me, O Yahweh, for I am weak. O Yahweh, heal me, for my bones are vexed. My soul is sore vexed, but thou, O Yahweh, how long? Return, O Yahweh, deliver my soul, O save me from thy mercy's sake. For in death there is no remembrance of thee, in the grave who shall give thee thanks. I am weary with my groaning, all the night make I my bed to swim. I water my couch with my tears. Mine eyes is consumed because of grief, it waxeth old because of mine, all mine enemies. Depart from me, all ye workers of iniquity, for Yahweh hath heard the voice of my weeping. Yahweh hath heard my supplication, Yahweh will receive my prayer. Let all mine enemies be ashamed and sore vexed. Let them return and be ashamed suddenly. Psalm 7 Shigayon of David, which he sang unto Yahweh concerning the words of Cush the Benjaminite, O Yahweh, my Elohim, in thee do I put my trust. Save me from all them that persecute me and deliver me, lest he tear my soul like a lion, rending it in pieces, while there is none to deliver. O Yahweh, my Elohim, if I have done this, if there be iniquity in mine hands, if I have rewarded evil unto them that was at peace with me, yea, I have delivered him that without cause is mine enemy. Let the enemy persecute my soul and take it, yea, let him tread down my life upon the earth, and lay mine honor in the dust, Selah. Arise, O Yahweh, in thine anger lift up thyself because of the rage of mine enemies, and awake for me to the judgment that thou hast commanded. So shall the congregation of the people compass thee about for their sakes, therefore return thou on high. Yahweh shall judge the people. Judge me, O Yahweh, according to my righteousness, and according to mine integrity that is in me. O let wickedness of the wicked come to an end, but establish the just for the righteous. Elohim trieth the hearts and reigns. My defense is of Elohim, which saveth thee upright in heart. Elohim judgeth the righteous, and Elohim is angry with the wicked every day. If he turn not, he will wet his sword, he hath bent his bow, and made it ready. He hath also prepared for him the instruments of death. He ordained his errors against the persecutors. Behold, he travaileth with iniquity, and hath conceived mischief, and brought forth falsehood. He made a pit, and digged it, and is fallen into the ditch which he made. His mischief shall return upon his own head, and his violent dealing shall come down upon his pat. I will praise Yahweh according to his righteousness, and will sing praise to the name of Yahweh Most High. Psalm 8 To the chief musician upon Giddith, a psalm of David, O Yahweh our Lord, how excellent is thy name in all the earth! Who hast set thy glory above the heavens? Out of the mouth of babes and sucklings hast thou ordained strength because of thine enemies, that thou mightest still the enemy and the avenger. When I consider thy heavens, the work of thy fingers, the moon and the stars which thou hast ordained, what is man that thou art mindful of him, and the son of man that thou visitest him? 
For thou hast made him a little lower than the angels, and hast crowned him with glory and honor. Thou madest him to have dominion over the works of thy hands. Thou hast put all things under his feet, all sheep and oxen, yea, and the beasts of the field, the fowl of the air, and the fish of the sea, and whatsoever passeth through the paths of the seas. O Yahweh our Lord, how excellency is thy name in all the earth. Psalm 9 To the chief musician upon Muthlaben, a psalm of David. I will praise thee, O Yahweh, with my whole heart. I will show forth all thy marvelous works. I will be glad and rejoice in thee. I will sing praise to thy name, O thou most high. When mine enemies are turned back, they shall fall and perish at thy presence. For thou hast maintained my right and my cause, thou sayest in the throne of judgment. Thou hast rebuked the heathen, thou hast destroyed the wicked, thou hast put out their name for ever and ever. O thou enemy, destructions are come to a perpetual end, and thou hast destroyed cities, their memorial is perished with them, but Yahweh shall endure forever. He hath prepared his throne for judgment, and he shall judge the world in righteousness, he shall minister judgment to the people in uprightness. Yahweh also will be a refuge for the oppressed, a refuge in times of trouble. And they that know thy name will put their trust in thee, for thou, Yahweh, hast not forsaken them that seek thee. What a great verse that is. Pretty much every chapter, every verse in Psalms is great, but some stand out more than others. This is a really good one. Really good. Psalm 911. Sing praises to Yahweh, which dwelleth in Zion. Declare among the people his doings, when he make maketh inquisition for blood he remembereth them he forgetteth not the cry of the humble have mercy upon me o yahweh consider my trouble which i suffer of them that hate me thou that liftest me up from the gates of death that i may show forth all thy praise in the gates of the daughter of zion i will rejoice in thy salvation the heathen are sunk down in the pit that they made and the net which they hid is their own foot taken Yahweh is known by the judgment which he executeth. The wicked is snared in the work of his own hands. Higyon, Selon. The wicked shall be turned into hell and all the nations that forget Elohim. For the needy shall not always be forgotten. The expectation of the poor shall not perish forever. Arise, O Yahweh, let not man prevail. Let, not, uh, let the heathen be judged in thy sight. Put them in fear, O Yahweh, that the nations may know themselves to be but men. Selah. Psalm 10 Why standest thou far off, O Yahweh? Why hidest thou thyself in times of trouble? The wicked in his pride doth persecute the poor. Let them be taken in the devices that they have imagined. For the wicked boasteth of his heart's desire, and blesseth the covetous whom Yahweh abhorreth. The wicked, through the pride of his countenance, will not seek after Elohim. Elohim is not in all his thoughts. His ways are always grievous. Thy judgments are far above out of his sight. As for all his enemies, he puffeth at them. He hath said in his heart, I shall not be moved, for I shall never be in adversity. His mouth is full of cursing and deceit and fraud. Under his tongue is mischief and vanity. He sitteth in the lurking places of the villages, and the secret places doth he murder the innocent. His eyes are privily set against the poor. He lieth in wait secretly as a lion in his den. He lieth in wait to catch the poor. He doth catch the poor when he draweth him into his net. He croucheth and humbleth himself that the poor may fall by his strong ones. He hath said in his heart, Elohim hath forgotten. He hideth his face, he will never see it. Arise, O Yahweh, O Elohim, lift up thine hand, forget not the humble. Wherefore doth the wicked condemn God? He hath said in his heart, Thou wilt not require it. I have seen it, for thou beholdest mischief and spite to require it, requite it with thine hand, and the poor committeth himself unto thee. Thou art the helper of the fatherless. Break the arm of the wicked and the evil man. Seek out his wickedness till thou find none. Yahweh is king forever and ever. The heathen are perished out of his land. Yahweh, thou hast heard the desire of the humble. Thou wilt prepare their heart. Thou wilt cause thine ear to hear. To judge the fatherless and the oppressed, that the man of the earth may no more oppress. Psalm 11 
To the chief musician, a psalm of David, in Yahweh put I my trust. How say ye to my soul, flee as a bird to your mountain? For lo, the wicked bend their bow, they make ready their arrow upon the string, that they may privily shoot at the upright in heart. If the foundations be destroyed, what can the righteous do? Yahweh is in his holy temple. Yahweh's throne is in heaven. His eyes behold, his eyelids try the children of men. Yahweh trieth the righteous, but the wicked in him that loveth violence his soul hateth. Upon the wicked he shall rain snares, fire and brimstone, and horrible tempest. This shall be the portion of their cup. For the righteous Yahweh loveth righteousness. His countenance doth behold the upright. Psalm 12 To the chief musician upon Sheminith, a psalm of David. Help, Yahweh. For the goodly man ceaseth, for the faithful fail from among the children of men. They speak vanity, every one with his neighbor, with flattering lips and a double heart do they speak. Yahweh shall cut off all flattering lips, and the tongue that speaketh proud things. Who have said, With our tongue will we prevail? Our lips are our own. Who is Lord over us? The oppression of the poor for the sign of the needy. Now will I arise, saith Yahweh. I will set him in safety from him that puffeth at him. The words of Yahweh are pure words, as silver tried in a furnace of earth purified seven times thou shalt keep them O Yahweh thou shalt preserve them from this generation forever the wicked walk on every side when the vilest men are exalted Psalm 13 to the chief musician a psalm of David how long wilt thou forget me O Yahweh forever how long wilt thou hide thy face from me how long shall I take counsel in my soul, having sorrow in my heart daily? How long shall mine enemy be exalted over me? Consider and hear me, O Yahweh, my Elohim. Lighten mine eyes, lest I sleep the sleep of death. Lest mine enemy say I have prevailed against him, and those that trouble me rejoice when I am moved. But I have trusted in thy mercy, my heart shall rejoice in thy salvation. I will sing unto Yahweh, because he hath dealt bountifully with me. Psalm 14 To the chief musician, a psalm of David. The fool hath said in his heart, There is no Elohim. They are corrupt, they have done abominable works, there is none that doeth good. Yahweh looked down from heaven upon the children of men to see if there were any that did understand and seek Elohim. They are all gone aside, they are all together become filthy, there is none that doeth good, no, not one. Have all the workers of iniquity no knowledge? Who eat up my people as they eat bread and call not upon Yahweh? There were they in, gr in great fear, for Elohim is in the generation of the righteous. He hath shamed the counsel of the poor, because Yahweh is his refuge. O oh, that the salvation of Israel were come out of Zion, when Yahweh bringeth back the captivity of his people, Jacob shall rejoice, and Israel shall be glad. Psalm 15, a psalm of David, Yahweh, who shall abide in thy tabernacle, who shall dwell in thy holy hill? He that walketh uprightly, and worketh righteousness, and speaketh the truth in his heart, he that backbiteth not with his tongue, nor doeth evil to his neighbor, nor taketh up a reproach against his neighbor, in whose eyes a vile person is contemned, but he honoreth them that fear Yahweh, he that sweareth to his own hurt, and changeth not. He that putteth not out his money to Ushri, nor take reward against the innocent, he that doeth these things shall never be moved. Psalm 16 Micham of David, preserve me, O Elohim, for in thee do I put my trust. O my soul, thou hast said unto Yahweh, Thou art my Lord, my goodness extendeth not to thee, but to the saints that are in the earth, and the excellent in whom is all my delight their sorrows shall be multiplied that hasten after god their drink offerings of blood will i not offer nor take up their names into my lips yahweh is the portion of mine inheritance and of my cup thou maintainest my lot the lines are fallen unto me in pleasant places yea i have goodly heritage i will bless yahweh who hath given me counsel 
My reins also instruct me in the night seasons. I have set Yahweh always before me, because he is at my right hand. I shall not be moved. Therefore my heart is glad, and my glory rejoiceth. My flesh also is rest in hope, shall rest in hope. For thou wilt not leave my soul in hell, neither wilt thou suffer thine holy one to see corruption. Thou wilt show me the path of life, in thy presence is fullness of joy. At thy right hand there are pleasures forevermore. Psalm 17, a prayer of David. Hear the right, O Yahweh, attend unto my cry, give ear unto my prayer that goeth not out of feigned lips. Let my sentence come forth from thy presence, let thine eyes behold the things that are equal. Thou hast proved mine heart, thou hast visited me in the night, thou hast tried me and shalt find nothing. I am purposed that my mouth shall not transgress. Concerning the works of men, by the word of thy lips have I kept me from the paths of the destroyer. Hold up my goings in thy paths, that my footsteps slip not. I have called upon thee, for thou wilt hear me, O Elohim. Incline thy ear unto me, and hear my speech. Show thy mercy, thy marvelous loving kindness, O thou that saved by thy right hand, them which put their trust in thee from those that rises up against them. Keep me as an apple of the eye, hide me under the shadow of thy wings, from the wicked that oppress me, from my deadly enemies who compass me about. They are enclosed in their own fat, with their mouth they speak proudly. They have now compassed us in our steps. They have set their eyes, bowing down to the earth, like a lion that is greedy of his prey, and as it were a young lion lurking in the secret places. Arise, O Yahweh, disappoint him, cast him down, deliver my soul from the wicked which is thy sword, from men which are thy hand, O Yahweh, from men of the world, which have their portion in this life, and whose belly thou fillest with thy hid treasure. They are full of children, and leave the rest of their substance to their babes. As for me, I will behold thy face in righteousness. I shall be satisfied when I awake with thy likeness. Psalm 18 To the chief musician a psalm of David, the servant of Yahweh, who spake unto Yahweh the words of this song in the day that Yahweh delivered him from the hand of all his enemies, and from the hand of Saul, and he said, I will love thee, O Yahweh, my strength. Yahweh is my rock, and my fortress, and my deliverer, my Elohim, my strength, in whom I will trust, my buckler, and the horn of my salvation, and my high tower. Is a great verse. That's probably going to be my verse of the day. Um, I really do love this verse, Psalm 18 too. I have this highlighted in all my Bibles because it's just so good. It's so much to this, but it's just, it's so uh, reassuring. Lord is my rock, my fortress, my deliverer, my God, my strength, and whom I will trust, my buckler and the horn of salvation in my high tower. I will call upon Yahweh, who is worthy to be praised, so shall I be saved from mine enemies. The sorrows of death compassed me, and the floods of the ungodly men made me afraid. The sorrows of hell compassed me about, the snares of death prevented me. In my distress I called upon Yahweh, and cried unto my Elohim. He heard my voice out of this temple, and my cry came before him, even into his ears. And the earth shook and trembled, the foundations also of the hills moved and were shaken, because he was wroth. There went up a smoke out of his nostrils, and fire out of his mouth devoured. Coals were kindled by it. He bowed the heavens also, and came down, and darkness was under his feet. And he rode upon a cherub, and did fly, yea, he did fly upon the wings of the wind. He made darkness in his secret place, and his pavilion round about him were dark waters and thick clouds of skies. At the brightness that was before him, his thick clouds passed, hailstones and coals of fire. Yahweh also thundered in the heavens, and the highest gave his voice, hailstones and coals of fire. Yea, he sent out his arrows and scattered them, and he shot out lightnings and discomfited them. Then the channels of waters were seen, and the foundations of the world were discovered at thy rebuke, O Yahweh. At the blast of the breath of thy nostrils, he sent them from above, he took me, he drew me out of many waters. He delivered me from my strong enemy, and from them that which hated me, for they were too strong for me. They prevented me in the day of my calamity, but Yahweh was my stay. He brought me forth also into a large place, he delivered me because he delighted in me. Yahweh rewarded me according to my righteousness, according to the cleanness of my hands, hath he recompensed me. 
For I have kept the ways of Yahweh, and have not wickedly departed from my Elohim. For all his judgments were before me, and I did not put away his statutes from me. I was also upright before him, and kept myself from mine iniquity. Therefore hath Yahweh recompensed me according to my righteousness, according to the cleanness of my hands in his eyesight. With the merciful thou wilt show thyself merciful, with the upright man thou wilt show thyself upright. With the pure thou wilt show thyself pure, and with the forward thou wilt show thyself forward. For thou wilt save the afflicted people, but wilt bring down high looks. For thou wilt light my candle, Yahweh, my Elohim, will lighten my darkness. For by thee I have run through a troop, and by my Elohim have I leaped over a wall. As for Elohim, his way is perfect, the word of Yahweh is tried. He is a buckler to all those that trust in him. For who is Elohim save Yahweh? Or who is a rock save our Elohim? Is it Elohim that girdeth me with strength and maketh my way perfect? He maketh my feet like hen's feet and setteth me upon high places. He teacheth my hands to war so that a bow of steel is broken in mine arms. Thou hast also given me the shield of thy salvation, and thy right hand hath holden me up, and thy gentleness hath made me great. Thou hast enlarged my steps under me that my feet did not slip. I have pursued mine enemies and overtaken them, neither did I turn again till they were consumed. I have wounded them, that they were not able to rise. They are fallen under my feet, for thou hast girded me with strength unto the battle. Thou hast subdued under me those that rose up against me. Thou hast also given me the necks of mine enemies, that I might destroy them that hate me. They cried, but there was none to save them, even unto Yahweh. But he answered them not. Then did I beat them small as the dust before the wind, and did cast them out as dirt in the streets. Thou hast delivered me from the strivings of the people, and thou hast made me, me the head of the heathen. A people whom I have not known shall serve me. As soon as they hear of me, they shall obey me. The strangers shall submit themselves unto me. The strangers shall fade away and be afraid out of their close places. Yahweh liveth, and blessed be my rock, and let the Elohim of my salvation be exalted. It is Elohim that avengeth me, and subdueth the people under me. He delivereth me from mine enemies, yea, thou liftest me up above those that rise up against me. Thou hast delivered me from the violent man. Therefore will I give thanks unto thee, O Yahweh, among the heathen, and sing praises unto thy name. Great deliverance giveth he to his king, and showeth mercy to his anointed, to David and to his seed forevermore. Psalm 19. To the chief musician, a psalm of David, the heavens declared the glory of Elohim, and the firmament showeth his handiwork. Day unto day uttereth speech, and night unto night showeth knowledge. There is no speech nor language where the voice is not heard. Their line is gone out through all the earth, and their words to the end of the world, and them hath he set a tabernacle for the sun. Which is as a bridegroom coming out of his chamber and rejoiceth as a strong man to run a race. His going forth is from the end of heaven, his circuit unto the ends of it, and there is nothing hid from the heat thereof. The law of Yahweh is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of Yahweh is sure, making wise the simple. The statutes of Yahweh are right, rejoicing the heart. The commandment of Yahweh is pure, enlightening the eyes. The fear of Yahweh is clean, enduring forever. The judgments of Yahweh are true and righteous altogether. More to be desired are they than gold, yea, than much fine gold, sweeter also than honey in the honeycomb. Moreover, by them is thy servant ward, warned, and in keeping of them there is great reward. Who can understand his errors? Cleanse thou me from the secret faults. Keep back thy servant also from presumptuous sins. Let, not, let them not have dominion over me. Then shall I be upright, and I shall be innocent from the great transgression. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Yahweh, my strength and my Redeemer. And Psalms 20 To the chief musician, a psalm of David. Yahweh, hear thee in the day of trouble. The name of Elohim of Jacob defend thee. Send thee help from the sanctuary and strengthen thee out of Zion. Remember all thy offerings, and accept thy bird sacrifice, Selah. Grant thee according to thine own heart, and fulfill all thy counsel. We will rejoice in thy salvation, and in the name of our Elohim will we set up our banners. Yahweh will fulfill all thy petitions. Now know that 
Uh, now I, that Yahweh, saveth his anointed. He will hear him from his holy heaven with the saving strength of his right hand. Some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we will remember the name of Yahweh, our Elohim. They are brought down and fallen, but we are risen and stand upright. Save, Yahweh. Let the king hear us when we call. Okay, that was 20 chapters of Psalms. Honestly, it did not seem uh, that long at all. If you think about it, 20 chapters and we got it done in about 30 minutes. Uh, that's not bad. So, uh, I love Psalms um, and Proverbs, but uh, yeah, it's good stuff. Um, so we'll continue Psalms tomorrow, God willingly. Thank you so much for joining me. Hope you guys have a great evening, morning, noon, wherever you're at. And as always, TTFN. Ta-ta for now. Take care. God bless. Remember to put God first in everything you do. Have faith in Him. Have trust in Him. And wait upon Him. And you'll never be sorry. Thanks again. We'll see you tomorrow with more Psalms. Take care.